Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion and Mouth and Dan play uh, the Golden Goblet. Here we are. I will say I am aware of the fact now we have one day one, we have one day two. Day three, we put down a pretty good score. So you never know, but we could be up 3-0. Honestly, like, I don't want to sound confident, or I, I do want to sound confident because I'm in the favored position for sure, especially after picking up a couple of wins, but... Kind of needed something like this, especially after, you know, we lost Hitman 4-3 to and we lost Tarkov 5-1. Uh, to <laughs> So for me, you know, I feel like we kind of need an extended period of, uh, of good performance. So let's hope we can do the same today. Spire is all about acknowledging what's to come on the map, if you want to get a high score at least. Acknowledging what's to come on the map and... Uh, you know, tailoring your deck and your run in such a way that you can maximize that yield. Start with five copies of a single card. Flight and Big Game Hunter work extremely well together. But what five copies do we have? Wow. Um, so I'll tell you right out of the gate. For me, looking at this right now, hold on, how much raw damage do we have? 18? Nobody will die, which means we are destined to take damage, but... Uh, for this much, you know, we have so many attacks, essentially. Obviously, like, the, the no-brainer choice is, uh, draw. Also, like, in flame. We definitely do not need any more angers. Um, strength will benefit us, considering we have so many zero-cost attacks. We went for it. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain nine gold. I think that's extremely good. Um... Definitely don't need a shop early. <sighs> Let's go for it. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. So, just looking. These are all same elites. We might have to fight two elites in a row, so let's hit a question mark first. We do have one actual genuine problem with this run right now and it's compensated i will say and it's early as well so don't get you know bent out of shape it's compensated for the fact that we heal after each fight for a little bit however we need blocks in a huge way and flame barrier is a big help in that regard without a doubt so this guy generally speaking i think we would i hate that we're going to be weak next turn but it is what it is we'd love to play in flame before we pop on this guy it's not going to happen life goes on I don't expect to flawless elites early, but we still absolutely do want to fight them. So, as of right now, I mean, this is, I'm not trying to make it seem like it's harder than it actually is. But I will tell you, I think this is a spicier daily than it might look like at the present moment. Should be able to kill this guy with the flame potion next turn. If we even need it, and we won't, thankfully. Cards containing strike deal extra damage. I think there's... It's tough. I think Immolate might be a little bit better for us, but it's it's spicy. We really did not want to fight this guy, to be honest with you. But, oh, hold on. Uh, I think we're going to kill him next turn, so we might as well play it. We got to be real cautious, you know, approaching elites like this. Honestly, I, we could kill him very easily with a, uh, with a fire potion, but if we've already taken damage and we see the lethality regardless, we might as well just take it like so. Pantograph is actually very, very, very nice. This is, this is a hot daily already. I think I'm going to take feed. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. Um... I honestly think we should rest and then get back into the elite grind as soon as possible. Let's go for this one. Anchor is actually super nice. I'm, I'm not displeased by that. Hello, old friend. Long time no see. Um, we're going to smoke you on turn one because we drew some gas. This is, a, if you like to ride the lightning, this is a daily for you. 
So I'm gonna tell you right out of the gate, this time we are gonna do that to preserve ourselves a little bit. Letter opener does not seem that useful right now. I'm also, if you'll excuse me, just gonna lower my webcam slightly. There's some very tough decisions, dude, but like so many rare cards, which I guess is because we have Big Game Hunter. Honestly, I think, I mean, Double Tap is incredible. Yeah, I think we go Double Tap, but Reaper was, it was speaking to me, it was calling my name. So I hope, I was just gonna say, I hope we got these guys, because an Immolate against these guys does such incredible work. This is, uh... Honestly, can I tell you something? My honest opinion? I know you're gonna say yes, so there's not much risk in it for me. Um, I feel very comfortable on this daily, because I... My whole Slay the Spire ethos is about riding the line. <laughs> the line of, of risk and sanity is not unfamiliar to me. Bronze Scales is pretty nice. Dude, I mean, we got so many. I think you would take another double tap, honestly. This is my jam, if you will. So I am going to rest. Why am I going to rest? Because we're going to try to fight two more elites. I'm, I'm very much in. In fact, I might even go a step further. I might say I'm all in. That's right. I'm, I'm busting out the, the poker strats. We definitely want this. We definitely want this. We definitely want this. We definitely want this. 36 damage next turn. Possible, perhaps unlikely. Definitely gonna happen. Not bad at all. Ooh, you love to see that. And I think, to be honest with you, we love offering here. And we've got a... A very rare situation, can I be honest with you? This is a rare situation, and our boss is Guardian. Okay. We've got a rare situation. We have a deck that is fat by first floor standards, without a doubt. Honestly, here, I would rather hit you with two strikes and lose one potential damage, but get uh, no... Um... Hold on. Draw three cards. Why not? Um, we've got a fat deck. Uh, we should have definitely doubled strike, by the way. Um, but it's full of rares. Like, we, we, are, we have a deck that is full of great rare cards. It's a little unusual. We fought a lot of elites early on here. Powers are upgraded by default. Definitely, I don't think Barricade can work for us yet. Honestly, we have so many zero-cost cards. I think we can make Juggernaut work here. So we're already going to heal to 77. I think this is a good smith and get one of these double taps upgraded sort of situation. And if we have to, we can always pop the regen potion. Like double tap bash. Oh my god. He admitted. Look at that. It's a great start. So my whole run, floor one, will I say we have no problems? Oh my god, no. We, we have problems on this run right now. The principal one, to be honest with you, we're not getting any flawlesses. I think we just hit you with that one and then accept this damage. We're not getting any flawlesses. This is a really good draw for us. However, we did fight like six elites, which is on the strong side, without a doubt. <laughs> So this, I mean, you're in a you're in a world of hurt, brother. I'm just trying to look at this, and I'm like, do we still have a double tap? We don't. I still think we go for you while we're not weak, and then we we shouldn't run into any trouble here. Hold on. <laughs> this is one where I was like, we should do the math, but it, that's that's where we're at right now. More defensive cards is definitely advisable. I don't think we want any more of these, honestly. Um, future rewards have less to choose from. Our enemies have more strength. Honestly, I think we're kind of done adding cards reliably. And our... You might think, like, this is the better choice. And to be honest, it might be. But I, I honestly think our deck has what it needs to win. Except it's missing blocks. Hopefully we can get that from shops. Some kind of defensive capability would go a long, long way. There's... You know, I'm not going to deny that. Um... We can at least get a letter opener to work. So I think we're missing a little bit. I know I said we just... You know, I literally just said we had enough, but... 
You should know by now. Uh, in this game, I am not to be trusted. But I'd rather do 6 damage or 13 damage. I think I'd rather do 13 damage, even though it does lose us our feed. A lot of frailty involved here, but... Now, I, like on this floor, I don't think we need it. We have a little AoE already. We gotta try. Necronomicon does a lot for us here, I think. As it always does. Actually, you know what? I think Enchiridion does a lot for us. Free powers every turn. It didn't cost us very much either. Alright. So this is where things become very important. Um, I'll tell you. Shrug at 24. Easy choice. Very easy choice. Um, I, we have so much money. I think that ornamental fan, when we have so many zero-cost attacks, is beautiful. I think we might as well get whetstone. Um, I, I actually will remove doubt, even though it's going to lower our score to not have a curse in the deck. Uh, and I think battle trance is actually very nice for us as well. And I think we'll probably leave it there for now. Waffle, I don't think we're going to need the HP, is really what that comes down to. Um, do me a favor, upgrade all strikes and defends. And we will hit this to hopefully get one more good relic. Start each elite with two extra strength. It's pretty good. To be honest with you, it's close, but I don't think it's close enough. I, I am feeling the burn of not having great blocks, but... I actually think maybe a clothesline, but the deck is so freaking fat already. But I think we having some way to generate weakness would be nice. By the way, I did notice we didn't have the money for Kunai. It's okay, it happens. Whenever a card is exhausted, draw a card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13, huh? So we aren't going to take damage, which is kind of surprising. Um, we might as well roast and toast you. Lots of good stuff here. You definitely start with offering. It doesn't ruin your perfect. Don't get it twisted up. Um, I think you can shrug first. And then uh, our best attack right now is uh, strike. But I think, hold on, you have 17. Little awkward here, but I think you'll just do it like this. Then we have the space to battle trance. And we didn't really get much out of it, but that's okay. We'll hit you with this. And I think we should hit you with feed as well, honestly. 41. I think we just got you. Okay, this is a this is a great sign. <laughs> this is a sign that things are starting to come together. We got our potions to bridge the gap when things get tough. Fossilized Helix is very, very nice. I honestly don't think we need Reaper yet. And let's continue this. All right. Fire Breathing has been changed. Whenever you draw a status or curse, deal six damage to all enemies. You do provide us with a status, I believe, but it won't benefit us much to begin with. That's okay. Um, so I believe Offering is basically just going to get countered by Helix here. I choose to live with that. I don't think it's bad. So we'll get some block going. Okay. Following this, you have to go first. I think we will start by double tapping strike. Then we can play battle trance. Okay, and we can kill you. Hold on, what do you have? 14? Okay, that's the that's the best non-overkill. Then we go on you. And we can still play two more of these to get one of those. Okay. Oh, we are we found a seam. Now can I tell you, it's not a hard seam to find today. This is a this is a seam that is very much findable. Now you you are a, a problem. You're gonna hit us, aren't you? I think I've been forced to do this, but I can live with that. That's good for points. Blood potion. Gain one vul vulnerable at the start of your turn. Gain energy. I don't want it. More elites. More elites. I'm ready. Metallicize. Very nice. We'll shrug first. Uh, and then you pretty much just play your hand on this one, I think. Get a yaw, and a little yaw, and a little yaw. Didn't need to play that second one, I guess, but... 12 damage. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so you definitely start with an offering. Then you will inflame. Now, if we're gonna double tap, hear me out here, I actually think a double tap on clothesline might be your play. 
as bizarre as it may sound. We don't quite have enough blocks, so we have to play that. Because um, I think the extra, the, the weakness gives us a much better chance of flawlessing it. Simple as that. Uh, 8 damage, you're doing 12 damage. Oh, but we're not going to get there, dude. We're not going to get there. Painful. Painful to lose the flawless points here. Tomo, what is it, buddy? You don't like your you don't like your water? I think we do want that and upgrade it as soon as possible. Honestly, I like Inflame a lot and it enables uh limit break, but I think Juggernaut early is a little better, just to be straight up with you. Bag of prep turn one, no complaints. We got a straight shot of elites all the way up, dude. This is this is wild. Um so this, it starts spicy here, I'm not going to deny it. We want to play Juggernaut, we play Dark Embrace. This allows us, thankfully, to draw a card, and that has helped us out quite a lot, honestly. 18, um... I think we take no damage here. Because of Fossilized Helix. Thankfully. But it's not as good of a start as our last attempt, obviously. I don't think Limit Break is, is your play here. Uh, a little stinky. This is a little stinky. Hold on. One more skill. We can't get to one more skill, so I wouldn't worry about that. I think we're taking damage yet again. That's, again, a little painful. feel like these little... Arithmetic inconsistencies on my end um, definitely do run the risk of uh, putting us in dangerous territory on a golden goblet sense, but I, I don't really concern myself right now with the golden goblet sense. We've already played feed, so we don't have to fish for anything. I can only concern myself with playing well and providing you with entertainment. Dude, bird faced urn is beautiful for us. Bludgeon, on the other hand. Yeah, okay, I think I can make it work. Very good damage against a single target, and it doesn't exhaust, so even better. Um, so there's some heals for us. Uh, honestly, I think you do want to play Juggernaut. No, I mean, yes. Yeah, 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 and then play Immolate, actually. There's your, there's your play. You know what would be awesome for us is... Uh, and uh, now I realize I've forgotten the name of it, which is very embarrassing for somebody... Ooh, we can't quite get it. Um, for somebody who's played so much uh, of this game, it's the one where when you kill an enemy, you get energy and draw a card. Gremlin something? Gremlin horn? Oh, he's done it. Okay, so you, you obviously just you fish on this one. We still haven't been hit, by the way. But this will ruin Fossilized Helix, but I think that's fine. I'm not worried about you at all, sir. At all. At all, because there's a perfect for us, and we are off to the races. Peace pipe. Will never be used. Honestly, I think we'd rather... Well, they, literally, the blood potion, I think, is strictly better, but what's done is done. <laughs> I'm not really too mad about barricade, honestly. I think that's, that's okay. You know what we could really use is an energy relic, but let's not get too bitter about it. So that's 22 block. We won't take damage. Because of uh, Fossilized Helix. So if we just draw AoE next turn, I'm a happy man. Don't get me wrong. Double tap bludgeon, it's pretty strong. What about regular bludgeon and then a double tapped anger? I'm like, you just throw everything at this one. I think you just... I think you start there. I don't think you limit break. I don't, I don't know how much this helped us. I don't know if we actually needed the extra energy at the end of the day. Are we going to play the other double tap? We're not. So we should actually, in that case, play this... I don't know. This doesn't get us there, does it? Yeah, I think I screwed, I screwed this one up a little bit. 
12. Ah! Dude, we, I think we should fish for it. Straight up, and we got it. Oh, my God. We, we would have had him anyway. I hate using the potion for that, but it, I think it was... Let's not call it necessary, because I think that goes too far. But it, it helped us secure the score. That's a lot of money. Uh, I think we should definitely upgrade. I think our upgrade, honestly, is our other double tap right now. Those, if we can actually get some draw, those will be worth quite a lot. Shop? Oh, oh, this is really good, dude! You, you will very rarely hear me be excited about this fight. This is one such circumstance. And we're going in deep on this one. First off, every time we play a block, we get 12 damage. So there's, there's a lot of positives there. That was easy enough. You're already, uh... Yeah, you're already in a very tight spot. And combined with ornamental fans, just disgusting. So, you know, will we fight? Will we be greedy? Oh my god, yes. We'll be as greedy as, as conceivably possible. We also got, like, the exact same draw <laughs> to start with. Uh, I think you'll shrug. I'm very glad that hit you, for sure. I'd rather deal 14 damage right now than gain 2 strength. I think these guys will be dead relatively soon. Okay, we gotta do this. Good, we stayed just in front of it. We still have... This to protect us. Do we want that to protect us though? Because in my head I'm like, we could play Offering. To be honest, this is a little bit of a weird one, but I think we do this. Hit, hit, then we can decide. Well, what are we drawing? I think we're going to kill you next turn. So I think we play this to do 12 damage. We take 0 because of Fossilized Helix. And then all we have to do is 25 damage this turn. Some of the easiest money ever made. Calipers, pretty nice. Ink Bottle. I will never know when it's coming, but that doesn't mean its effects are useless. <laughs> and um, there's lots of lots of valuable stuff here, to be honest, but I think we're going to go for the limit break first. One thing's for certain, I believe we have enough damage to kill this guy. Do we have enough, uh, enough block? Time will tell. But I'll tell you, two juggernauts is very nice. It's a very nice situation. So I actually think... On this one, we really start with no strength. Okay, well, we won't limit break then. We'll play a defend, so we take no damage. And then two of these bad boys. But that limit break will be useful after we play in flame. But I'm realizing now it's taken us some time to get there. Um, so I think on this one, we do do 12 damage every time we put up block. So let's just put up some block. I'm okay with that for now. 24 damage, but we still have... Uh, Ancient power or whatever I've been calling it for a long time. Um, honestly, I'm willing to take damage. I know that this hurts us a, a lot, honestly, but... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm willing to sack that just to make sure that we're getting out, you know, as much DPS as possible and hopefully not finding ourselves in too dangerous of a position. We will take damage, but this is also done... Enough damage to this guy that I am completely unconcerned for the future. Uh, I think, honestly, you do shrug. You might as well shrug first, and then that does give us battle trance. Okay, so we were looking for a double tap and didn't get it. He's about to purge his debuffs, so I think we should focus on most damage possible, which is definitely this, 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 this. Yeah, he, he has nothing to stop us. He, he can't stop us. Don't make me laugh. Even, I have to say, unfortunately, I think the limit break is not that good here. But we did it anyway. And it is going to give us Ornamental Fan, which throws another 12 damage at us. Oh my god, we got him again. He's going to hit us pretty badly. And it's just yet another indicator that, to be honest with you, it would be really nice to get some more defense in this deck. But if we're being honest, still wasn't really that close. I think we could definitely take Cursed Key. <laughs> Alright, Donu Deca. 
You know, damage output means we will kill one pretty quickly, I think. I'm loving the, the Juggernaut setup here. It's just disgusting. So we don't have to play blocks, but our blocks do do 12 damage. So if we can do 12 damage for one energy, this, this is very nice. And I think we'll just... Uh, double tap. Make sure you're close enough to kill next turn. Definitely an immolate situation. And I think... It always sucks a little bit, right? But... I think we have to lose feed here just to make sure we stay ahead of the game. Um, feed is... It, it's a card that's like you could lose your whole life trying to get feed to work on these guys. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless it's obvious, you know. Very good. I mean, the plated armor is really good as well, so I think we'll just discard this. I would rather use it than discard it, but I didn't know we had such a good thing coming, you know? Okay, hold on. This is big. So we played Barricade. Do we play Juggernaut? I think it's always going to be solid. Um, Bludgeon is okay, but I kind of think you get more value here out of, like, Inflame. And then, you know, Anger. Anger. Clothesline will keep us going. So he's already half dead, and we haven't even used uh, we haven't used anything at all, really, have we? All right, it's easy. I I think we're almost certainly very very set, and because we have enough draw, I think this flex plus is actually does numbers for us. Absolutely not. Obviously, I'm not gonna lose everything there. <laughs> Um, potions always appear after rewards. So we will hit one more shop, but I think we can afford that. I don't think we need to add this to our deck. I, I honestly, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it being that useful. But I think we'll save the rest of our gold. So we might as well use one potion per combat. Um... Turn one, we're not going to need that. So, should we duplicate? I, I think yes, but... I don't know what you duplicate. I think you duplicate a bludgeon, even though you're going to double tap it anyway. Because we're not going to have enough energy to play too much other stuff. But I might be wrong on that. So, we should definitely just duplicate the bludgeon on you. And then... Yeah, I'm, I, li I like where this is going. You might be asking, do I really think I'm capable of, uh, you know, outputting, I don't know, how much damage am I going to need to output next turn? Outputting 24 damage? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very much so. Very much so indeed. Yeah, that'll work. Um, very easy. So far, so good. Thread and Needle is just beautiful. Rather than fight... It's probably more beneficial to get some upgrades. We haven't upgraded as much as I would like. That's like one negative so far. And I think Inflame works so well with the Limit Break, it's an easy choice. You can be a problem. But for now, I'm like, okay, Rupture is fine. Juggernaut early is great. Um, we'll see. I think we might use the Weakness Potion against this guy. We got to use a potion, right? So we should definitely play this. And then we can start attacking. Okay. We have had more incredible turn ones against this guy in particular, but it's still pretty good. So we will not play Offering, unfortunately. I think we'll start here. And then double tap. Then this. Then Bludgeon, because Bludgeon will get a disproportionate amount of extra damage. Everything's going fine. I, I didn't realize we were taking damage on that one, I'll admit. Uh, I'm willing to... Lose HP on this one because it'll give us extra strength. Limit Break is beautiful. The double tap. We are going to get to uh, Ink Bottle without a doubt as well. So we'll get one more draw. The draw is another Anger. And you're dead. So that should still count as a perfect. Blessing of the Forge. Still very nice. I don't, I don't want Corruption. It's a little too much, I think. So we do get Cursed with Regret. But that's not bad. Yo, Demon Form early is just a disgustingly good get here. Um, will we get to 18 block? I don't know. <laughs> that I'll admit. I, I'm, I think we got to start there this time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're one away from getting some block. Might as well do it that way. 
you love to see it. All right, it's a different approach this time, but it just goes to show you, you know, we got a very flexible deck here. So we'll start here. Maybe we shouldn't have, but we're, that's how we're going to do it. Um, oh, I hit escape by accident. Can we get to 30 block? 30 block. Um, I think we can get to 30 block. I know we can get to 30 block. Yeah, okay. My confidence is, is pretty high right now. Shuriken is extraordinarily nice. We really should have used something. I'm going to be honest with you. I think having these is more important than having fruit juice, even though fruit juice is just good by default. I know it's, it's a weird one. Whenever you shuffle, gain six block. We're going to shuffle like almost never. But at this point, you might as well spend. I don't think we're going to upgrade anymore as well. I do think finesse is still worth adding, but... Okay, this is the first time we've really gone up against you. Lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand. Well, we'll play everything, I guess. Maybe instead of... Uh, with the exception of corruption. We're gonna lose one HP regardless. There's, like, actually nothing we can do about that. Not because of corruption, sorry. Because of regret. Um... So it really comes down to, do we want to play this? And if we're going to do something, we might as well drink a potion because we're going to need it anyway. What, what skills have we used? Corruption is our other one? No, no, no. I don't think we do it. I honestly don't think we do it. Don't think we needed it. So I, I think offering is totally fine here. Um, I do understand the negatives associated with this, by the way. But I still think... It's worth it, you know, for the extra energy so we can get Bash out there. We're not going to take any damage. We should have double tapped the Bash. That's my bad. Um, I'm still going to double tap. And, and the real reason behind that is because we keep uh, our block. And we also have uh, uh, Shuriken. So the more attacks we play, the more, you know, strength we get in the long term. And the short term, for that matter. So I think that there's, you know, a real reason to keep it going. As much as I would love to play Bludgeon, I don't think we're going to get there, you know. 12 block? Maybe we would have gotten there. In hindsight, it is it is plausible we would have gotten there. You love to see it. Preserved Insect is pretty much completely worthless. Never mind, we have two more Elite Fights. <laughs> this is this is comical. In, in the best way I could possibly muster. Hold on. So we need to play two more skills for Letter Opener, or... No, I think two more skills for letter opener. But we also need to play two more attacks in order to get... Uh... Shuriken. Would we rather have one strength? We don't have a choice now. You've already you, you screwed it up a little. I think you might as well just roast and toast one of these guys right here. It's cute that you think you got something going on here. You got nothing going on here. So first... I think we'd like the offering again, but if I can just, you know, make some space in the hand first. Wow, oh, you're actually dead. Okay, unceasing top could be worth something for us. Neither weakness nor fear are really worth that much for us right now, to be honest, just because of the fact that our final boss res resists both very well. So I think we actually just toss that out immediately. Um, you certainly love the double tap bash. Do you care about Juggernaut? I'm, I'm going to run something by you. I'm not completely convinced we care at all about Juggernaut here. Nor am I really convinced we need to use Limit Break, but I, th I think we can get away with that one and then double tap this son of a gun right here and then just hit you. That, that seems like the highest priority for me right now. Thank you, Fire Breathing. Much appreciated. So the more we can play early, the merrier. It's pretty sweet. Um, certainly, at this point, I'm like, dude, do you think a double tap Flex will get you? Or sorry, double tap Bludgeon? Oh, it'll get you. <laughs> it'll get you. But I'm actually like, you know what? 
We're gonna get you regardless. I bet we can do this in such a way that we get you with feed. Even better than bludgeon. Stone calendar. I doubt we'll need it. I will absolutely take a demon form. And uh, let's just double that limit break. I really doubt we're gonna need it, but dude, this has all the makings of yet another very, very solid daily. I hate to see corruption, but that, you know, it is what it is, right? So upgrade all these. Why not? Why not? You know what? Let's, uh, I'm gonna just exhaust that right off the bat. I know, I'm a coward. Oh, you love to see it. Um, but first, perhaps we'll play an Anger. We need to get to 20 block. Never mind, we're already there. No strength in getting that limit break early. I gotta admit, it's painful. It, it, it conjures some pain. I can live with that. We at least got a shuriken rolling. Okay, you're doing 26 damage. There's nothing we can really do to stop that. However, uh, by playing five cards, we will draw one. <laughs> okay, so there goes the perfect, but on the other hand, you know, we already have the pieces in play that are gonna send you to the Shadow Realm, so... I'm, uh, very much unconcerned. Despite the damage we've taken, you'll probably die this turn. Uh, and you might even die next turn, just to be straight up with you. Oh, we're drawn. Oh, we're drawn. Oh, baby. Oh, I think he's he's 100% done next turn. As long as we draw like two attacks, you're you're toasted, brother. See ya. Okay, another good daily. Today, 1400 is a killer score. But I do want you to remember that's 1400 with the awareness that we fought 3,000 elites, right? So. Yeah, our, in terms of like our relative position, we were in pretty much the same spot that we've been in. Um, which is totally fine by me, but we did fight every elite I think that it was possible to fight. Maybe we skipped one on the first floor. You're gonna have to really... You're gonna have to go hard to beat this one. It's definitely possible, but you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to want it, Dan. You're gonna have to want it, Mouth. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Go check out Dan and Mouth's... I really appreciate uh, your support on the Golden Goblin, and we'll see you next time. See ya!